Good morning, friends. We are vlogging again today. It is Thursday. Thursday. And today what I've got going on around here is packing for the kids and I, kids and my trip to Michigan. So I thought I'd bring you along for some of that. I started packing last night. I was gonna wait till today so I could show you guys like how I pack and then I got a bug up my butt last night at like 11 p.m. and decided nope, I'm gonna do it now because I had energy. So the kids are actually packed to go. I've got a bunch of other stuff setting out um, because whenever I go home to visit family, I typically end up taking a bunch of stuff with me. Like I've got three bags of clothes that Jackson and Alice have outgrown. So those are gonna go up to nieces and nephews. There's just always stuff to take with me. Got a decent start on the day so far. I showered and decided to blow dry my hair. Uh, it's getting really long again. If you guys have been around a while, you know that I grew it out and then I cut it and now it's getting long again. These glasses are sitting funny on my nose. So these are my new glasses. If you didn't see the last vlog that I put up, it would have been at the time you're watching this like last week. Blow dry my hair, which I don't do all that often. I've got this Revlon like brush blow dryer, like a paddle brush, which is convenient. And my hair dries super fast because I don't know if you can tell, like it's really thin. So I did that. I'm probably gonna regret it in like a few hours because it's supposed to be 85 degrees or something today. Um, I'm gonna run to the PO box and check that. I need to get gas so that way when we leave in the morning, uh, we're going to Michigan. I don't know if I said, I know I said we're going out of state, but we're driving to Michigan. So I need to make sure I have a full tank of gas. Something else. Let me consult the to-do list. So I use the, just the reminders app on my iPhone. Check P.O. box, get gas, go to the library. I need to pull the kids' booster seats out of the van, drop the third row to make the trunk area, cargo area bigger. They have other high back boosters in the middle row that they'll be using for the trip. I need to load the van, finish packing. Um, kids need a bath tonight. I need to edit our dinner video to go up. I need to edit my husband's lunchbox video to go up. I also have a reminder on here that Jane the Virgin is on the CW app like the new episode is uploaded on there so i usually watch that each week anyway anyone else watch that it's funny it's a good show it's weird it, it, it's it's good so here is everything lined up against the wall that has to go so far the kids suitcases and then at the top of our stairs i've got another two bags up there of stuff that needs to come down Alice got some window markers for her birthday and the kids were drawing on here. And every time I look down the hallway and get to this like thing with long orangish red hair, it creeps me out for some reason and I don't know why. But these are the markers she got. Jackson picked them out for her birthday. Um, I'll link them down below if you wanna see them. I think you can get them on Amazon as well, but they're really nice, decent quality. They work well, they wipe off easy. So we are pleased with them. So I just sat down to edit a lunchbox video. Says, hey friends, welcome back. Today's video, husband lunchbox. Um, I'm gonna get this edited and scheduled. This will actually go up while we are in Michigan, so I've got YouTube work to do. So here's the back of our van. We need to. I need both hands to put that down. Um, I need to get the this mess out of here so I can put these seats down. So I'm gonna do that so I have room to pack stuff. I always keep a stack of paper bags in here for when I go to Aldi. <laughs> ambitious I would vacuum and I might still yet today I just want to get that cleaned out the seat wasn't moving down at first so I'm glad it did and then I always keep blankets in here because in the mornings it is still cold um, yeah I really should vacuum and then I've got a little tote of I don't I'm throwing this away don't tell Alice um, crayons and stuff in here that probably should also be cleaned out we have so many crayons in here from like restaurant visits, but that gives them something to do. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. All right, so that 
can get checked off my to-do list. Um, I'm gonna go head out and do all the like library, gas, P.O. box. But I pulled the boosters out. I still need to load the van, which I can do later. Obviously, because I'm not done packing yet. Let's talk TV for a second, because this morning, no, last night, Okay, three things. Number one, Will and I finished Santa Clarita Diet, season three. We've been watching that since it came out. Real cute show on Netflix if you've not seen it. It's got Drew Barrymore in it. And it ends at a major cliffhanger and they are not renewing for another season, which makes me mad. So there's that. Number two, I watched the season finale of New, Amster New Amsterdam last night on Hulu. That also left you at a major cliffhanger, and now I have to wait till fall for that. Third thing, uh, a new season of Black Mirror is coming onto Netflix. It's only three episodes long. That's a show that's kind of weird, and like if you've not seen it, I check. I would check it out. It's kind of how like technology can rule or ruin or help um, like our society. But each of the episodes is kind of like a sci-fi. It's weird. But I just saw that there's a new season for that coming out. And yes, I'm just chilling in my driveway, like in my car. I keep losing my train of thought. It's going to be that kind of day today. Because there was another thing I was going to mention. Oh yeah, I started watching Dead to Me on Netflix because a lot of people suggested that. And that's a Netflix original. And oh my gosh, I'm only two episodes in, but I need to finish it. I think there's ten episodes. Most of the Netflix originals there are. But if you haven't started that, I would start that. And these Bullet House Farms Lower Sugar were on sale at Walmart for a dollar. This vanilla chai is really good. Um, and no, I'm not going to be sitting cross-legged in my chair when I drive. But I just wanted to share that with you. Alright, we are at the library. So I'm going to delete that. Run these books in. And I think I have one or two to pick up. Holding back, I got history. It is beautiful out. I am digging this weather. It's like, uh, let's see, uh, 67, which means it's probably closer to 70, but there's like a slight breeze and the sun is out and the birds are chirping and it's just nice. So P.O. box was checked. There's nothing in there. I just wanted to make sure and check it before we ooh, before we headed out of town because I know a few people have said they were sending letters for the kids or pictures and stuff. I'm trying to do just like a little pen pal type stuff. So I wanted to check it before we headed out. That way if there was anything in there, the kids would have fun mail to open today or even on the car ride. So I literally need probably like three gallons of gas because I just filled up the other day. But I would rather start off with a completely full tank for the trip. Yep, it's already done. 2.81 gallons, $6.61. Mama's a big spender today. I'm actually running into Costco because I forgot we need more goldfish crackers. And it's just cheaper to get them here. I think there's something else on my list too. I'll have to look. Mozzarella sticks, I think. Because Will loves them. I mean, the kids do too. And I don't hate them. This just brings back flashbacks of when I was sick, like really sick and ended up in the hospital with some autoimmune issues. And I spent like a month and a half drinking bone broth afterwards because my digestive tract was messed up. We've got our lifeline, our lifeblood, our goldfish crackers. Why are these so good anyway? So Alice is obsessed with Squishmallows. She has two of them. If you watched her birthday vlog, she got a new one. These are mini ones. If they weren't $18 for the pack, I might consider grabbing it. Maybe I'll have to bring her here and she can use some birthday money 
because she would flip over these. They're so soft and squishy. So cute. And I used to read Amelia Bedelia when I was a child. But here they have the actual like bigger chapter books. I can't wait till Alice is reading stuff like this. I hope she loves reading as much as me. I always love looking through their books that they've got. Big Book of Science. Biggest Book of the Human Body. And yes, I'm talking to myself in the middle of Costco as people drive, drive by, walk by. Probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. I just sent pictures of this to my friend Kaylin because she's obsessed with alpacas and she wants an alpaca farm. And so <laughs> this is literally a story about alpacas. And then you just have random stuff like this, which has like different takes on princesses. I stopped talking, sorry. Snow White. Very cool. And someone told me I should read this series, so I actually just got this first one on audiobook on my phone. Maybe I'll start this on the way to Michigan. Has anyone read it? I don't know if it's any good. I'm assuming it is. And like the last one just came out. This is hardcover. This is another series I think I have on my wish list to read. Super cute. I love this teal color. These are kind of cute too. I think I like the darker ones though. I don't know how I feel about those ones though. So I sent Will a picture of those squishmallows and uh, he said to get them for the trip to Michigan. So I guess I'm picking up a pack of squishmallows. I was eyeing these shorts in here a while ago, like a previous trip, and now they're $7.99 so I'm going to get Alice a pair because I think they're adorable. And there's some Adidas stuff on sale. They've got these joggers on clearance for $6.97. If you're not aware, anytime there's an asterisk in the corner of the thing, that means they won't be carrying it anymore. So I might look through some of these. Um, the Adidas jackets are on clearance for $11.97. These head brand hoodies are $4.97. And Alice doesn't have any zip-up hoodies, so I might see if I can find something in her size. So I got Alice's shorts. I'm getting her a purple and gray, a teal and gray, and then I'm going to pick one up for Jackson. He's got some, but this is a nice one. Um, and I've got a lot of stuff in the cart for Alice, so yeah, hoodie. These are good to wear like in the mornings before school because it's chilly. And then I'm picking one up for my nephew's birthday coming up too. I am starving and want to put my face in a Danish. These are some of our favorite water cups. You can get a three pack for $13. We don't need any right now, but good price. But what I do need is a new frying pan. Jumbo cooker, if you will. This is on sale for $15.99. I think I might get this. t is a good brand, right? I'm gonna look down here and see what else they have. These are also great. We actually got um, a pack of these these colors so Jackson has the gray one and Alice has the teal and it keeps their water cold in their backpack they're kind of big but they do fit in the backpack and Jackson drinks water like constantly and that's all he drinks so he really likes having this as an option I'm getting myself in trouble these are so good and I'm super hungry California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot, and it has the same effect on me. It's so that turned into a mini shop with me there in Costco. Uh, got some good deals. A lot of stuff was on like last chance buy or clearance or however they signify it with the little asterisk. Um, as I was heading to the checkouts, I found these half dipped dark chocolate pineapple rings, um, hand dipped for $2.97. It was a last chance buy, and I double checked the expiration date because a lot of times they will do that if it's about to expire. Made that mistake on yogurt once. I got a huge like 18 pack of Greek like Oikos yogurt for $1.97. It was expiring the next day. So yeah, always check the dates. Um, but the guy checking the receipt as I was heading out, he's like, have you tried that pineapple? I said, no. He said, it's good, it's a little dry. If you can get past the like initial dry bit, um, they're good. So I grabbed two bags of those. The lemon almonds they were sampling, that was an impulse buy. I love anything lemon and citrus, so that was gonna end up in my cart. 
Um, got the clothes. I don't think, oh, grab that tea fell, um, tea fall, tea fell, uh, frying pan, it's not a frying pan, it's what they call it, a deep cooker or something. I needed another one. My other one was starting to warp in the center and so stuff in the center would burn because it was like, anyway. $90 later, I'm headed home. I still need to finish packing for myself. I lied, I'm not heading home. I wanted to try one of these. So this is what it looks like. Woo woo. Mm. That's good. I should probably go buy more. Grab two bags. I think I'm gonna take one up to my mom's. That's really delicious. Yep. I could be in trouble if I went in and got more of those. I'm coming new with apologies. Holding back I got So I basically already showed you everything I got, but here's just another overview. I need to figure out a way to hide these for the road trip. Um, I don't know, I'll ask Will if he has any ideas. He said he wanted to make sure that we are all happy and it's a long trip and these would help make the kids happy. Goldfish, that pan, that jumbo cooker. I'm excited about that. That seems like a good price to me. Maybe I'm just, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, those two bags of pineapple rings, super yummy. I need to get them in the fridge though. The chocolate was kind of melting. The limoncello almonds. Allie's clothes. These shorts just are adorable. I wish they were a tad bit longer. Um, they might be. I mean, look at the picture. It looks like they're decently long. And then her two hoodies, Jackson's hoodie, and then this gift for my nephew for his birthday. So, okay, so I have to dispose of the evidence. I'm gonna run this out to the dumpster so the kids don't see it. And all I did was I split on four and four. Um, and just put them in gift bags to have in the car. I don't think the kids will ask questions. And then I think since we leave like super early in the morning, hold on, let me flip this around. So we typically leave like super early in the morning, like by 4 a.m. to get on the road to avoid traffic and get up to my parents by lunch. So we will get up, the car will be loaded, we'll get in. They usually watch a little bit of TV and then they fall back asleep. And then I think when they wake up, I will give them these little bags and they can play with their little squishmallows in the car just to have something to occupy them along with. We do iPads, we do, I have a whole video on how I occupy my kids on road trips. It's a little old, it's probably from a year or two ago, um, but it's still relevant. We have movies, they have headsets that like, our van has like a, the DVD system has headsets so they can watch that while I listen to audiobooks, so that's convenient. I made sure that the batteries are still good in the headsets, and then I have extra batteries to go as well. They've got crayons, they've got um, a bin of library books that they're taking with them, and that way they can read and earn some, they earn like coins and points for reading too. Uh, I'm gonna have a San Pellegrino, Ooh, what is this? Tangerine Wild Strawberry. Will is still at work, but he texted me and he found, or they finally got in the Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. So he's gonna pick up a case of that. We're not huge pop drinkers, but um, we've been on the hunt for it and haven't been able to find it, so it'll be nice to actually just be able to try it. So it was one of those like elusive, I want it because I can't have it sort of things. So he's gonna bring a case of that home, but all right, so I'm gonna get my suitcase packed. This is probably bigger than what I need. We are only going for four days. Um, the kids' suitcases, they have the little tiny hardback ones. And I'm pulling up, I have a packing list on my phone. That's my grocery list. Uh, uh, um, of everything I still need to pack. So, I have some of my stuff set out because I did laundry last night and I went ahead and fold it. So I've got like some slouchy hoodies that I got from Thread Tank. They're super comfortable. Some comfy shorts for like pajamas. Oh, this might be a good size today. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit chillier up there. I think their weather right now is like in the 50s and when I was look, well 60s. But when I looked at the weather, it's gonna be kind of rainy and like 50s. So I'm bringing hoodies and like a few t-shirts, yoga pants. I like to be comfy when I'm up there. I'm not going up there to like go to a fancy gourmet like dinners or anything. This is a nightgown because sometimes I sleep in like a sleep shirt from Walmart. They're super cheap and like comfortable. Socks, underwear. So throwing in a pair of jean capris. 
Um, sometimes I use packing cubes, but not when it's just me in the suitcase. Typically that's for like longer or bigger trips. We have four sets of these travel wise ones in different colors. We have teal, red, purple, and black. So one for each of us. Um, I am gonna use one to separate. I've got some clothes I'm giving to my sister that like I've gotten from Nadine West and stuff and sometimes I just pass them down to her as well as some jewelry. So I just wanna keep this separate so it doesn't get tangled up in my clothes. So put that in there and then I'm gonna start pulling my toiletries that I won't need tonight. All right, so I've started gathering toiletry stuff. I have this toiletry bag. It goes along with like my big luggage set. Uh, what I'm gonna do is pack it and then I'm gonna leave it sitting in my bathroom for anything I'm still gonna need tonight, but that way I can just grab it and go. So I've got my makeup bag. This is just from um, Amazon. It's really cute. The kids got it for me for my birthday last year. I'll leave a link down below, but it holds a decent amount. I've got some contact solution in here, my contacts, all the makeup that I'm gonna need. So that is that. I'm gonna put that in here. Um, this little bag, it was actually from a Walmart, um, what's it called? They have like a quarterly Walmart beauty box. And this just has the kids' toothbrushes and a travel toothpaste in it. Um, the kids have toothbrushes in like every bathroom, so I just grab one set. Um, I've got my toothbrush, which I will obviously be pulling out and using tonight, but I just want to have everything in one spot. My glasses case, in case I wear my contacts, my brush. Then we've got body spray, Nicole Miller, New York, Sweet Blossom. I got it at Meyer. It smells amazing. Alice loves it too. So we just use this body spray. Um, some native deodorant. This is almost gone, but this is the lime and coconut. I need to order some more. Um, and then my Lime Life skincare stuff. So I've got my friend sells this, so I get it from my friend Kelly. If you're interested, um, I can give you some info. I love this. I have gotten comments just in the past few weeks I've been using it here on the videos. A lot of you have said, wow, your skin looks really clear and your skin looks even. And um, the only thing I've changed is this and I've gotten a year older. So I don't know, maybe I'm aging backwards or this is just amazing. So I have the Lime Life Dream Clean Cleanser. Um, the Skin Polish, which smells like lemon. I don't know why I'm opening it because you can't sniff it, but little bit goes a long way on that and it smells so good i wish you could smell it i use this a few times a week maybe every two to three days and it's super mild but keeps my skin tone um like it, it's a polish so it's a scrub so it, it's nice and then the lotion which i also love this is the skin therapy lotion and i use that um, in the morning for sure and sometimes also at night depending on what lotion i want to use i'm gonna put these up front some of these little bottles so that um if anything decides that it wants to get crazy and leak. It's not leaking all over the inside of this big part. So there's my skincare. I actually put my brush up here too. So that's the toiletries. I do need to grab Alice's hair stuff, like a few hair ties and stuff, so let me go grab that. Okay, so I have Alice's water bottle. I put that up here too. Maybe. I hope it doesn't leak. And then I always just put her hair stuff in a bag and I reuse this bag so it's just shoved into a bathroom like cupboard so I got her detangler we like this Garnier pure clean for her I got a few bows and then this right here is just a little divided container and it has a ton of stuff it may not look like much but we have like a thousand of these little tiny rubber bands that I get from the Dollar Tree so when I put them in her hair at night I take them out and throw them away because we don't need to keep them so that's all her hair stuff my toiletries Jackson's simple. All he needs is his toothbrush, which I've already packed. Um, <laughs> he may want his deodorant. He's been using <sighs> one of Will's deodorants that was almost gone, and he loves it, so I don't know. He might take that with him, but I'll leave that up to him. Yeah, I think this one's good. Uh, fun story. This zip tie, this orange one, has been on here, oh, for four years since Will and I went on a Caribbean cruise, and I just have never cut it off. So we are packed clothing wise. There's still more. So since I already have the tripod set up, I'm just gonna sit on my bed and chat with you for a minute. Um, so all of our clothing, toiletries, all of that is packed. All of the like random stuff that I bring, like all the kids' small clothes, you saw all that. The only stuff that we have left to pack, uh, ooh, I kicked my tripod. Um, the kids' stuffed animals, uh, Jackson's Xbox controller he usually brings with him so he can play with his cousin. 
Um, all of my medications and the kid, like Alice's allergy meds, that gets packed late tonight or tomorrow, but I leave it on my list until I know it's packed. Snacks, which I'm probably gonna make like some peanut butter and jellies. We've got some food that I can pull out of the fridge and keep on ice, cheese, yogurt pouches, um, some fruit. I think we've got like grapes and strawberries, uh, veggies. So I'm gonna have all of that in baggies in a cooler so that way we don't have to stop for food on the way there. This is a nine hour drive. For those of you new, I know we've had a lot of new people um, since we've traveled last. And we travel to Michigan to visit family typically more than this. It's been since Christmas though, so it's been a while um, and we're overdue. And then as we head into summer, we travel a lot up there. So like the kids are go and I are going now, they come back, they have like a week and a half left of school. They get out of school on May 31st and then Will has a vacation in June. We're gonna spend like five or six days up with his side of the family because our oldest niece is graduating high school. And then we come home for two days the kids and I repack. The kids and I go back to my side of the family for almost, I want to say like 10 or 11 days. And then we come back for two days or a day. And then my sister will be driving down with her three boys from where we had just, pre where we're going to visit. And we go to Great Wolf Lodge for two days. And that takes us through June. Like the kids and I are not going to be home here in Kentucky very much in June. So um, that's just how our summers go. So vitamins, snacks, um, water bottles, and then electronics, which this time the only electronics we're taking, I'm gonna have the, the kids' iPads with their chargers, my camera with charger, backup battery. Will's texting me, he's going to the gym. Um, it's one o'clock right now, 107. He just got out of work, he's going to the gym and then he'll be home. Um, so the camera and charger and then my iPhone charger. So there's really not much left on here. There's 12 items left, but as far as like snacks and stuff, I have stuff like accumulating on the counter downstairs and it needs to get packed. I've got, probably gonna, I got this out. It's a 31, like the brand bag, 31 bags, utility tote. I've had this since Jackson was an infant. It says Jack's toys on it. I also have a white one I'll probably pull out as well. And I use these to just catch all the random stuff that needs to like make it from point A to point B. Um, stuff that doesn't go in suitcases. So that's where we're sitting. I need something to eat. I am, there was something else I was gonna do. And now I have a pile of stuff at the top of the stairs that needs to be taken down to the hallway. That hallway is like full. Oh, we have Jackson's first grade open house showcase night tonight. Um, we did Alice's on Tuesday night and that was in her birthday vlog from last week. So we have that at five o'clock to see. It's the kind of like a, not really a parent-teacher conference, it's child-led. You go in and the kids show you like some of their writing assignments they've done through the year and they show you how they get on and use their Chromebooks and how they can just basically like how they progress through the year. So we're doing that tonight and I have to make dinner and Alice needs a bath. I wish she could take showers and wash her own hair without me having to like hover, but she's still a bath child. Jackson takes showers and it's amazing because he basically plays outside when they play outside every day. He comes in and he sweats a lot. He's a very sweaty boy. And he'll be like, I'm just gonna go take a shower. It's so nice to be like, okay. So we set a five minute timer on our Amazon dot. We have one in the bathroom to play music. He sets a five minute timer on the nights where he's just like freshening up after playing outside. Um, and he does just a quick, washes his hair and body and he gets out and I don't have to worry about it. So that's nice. Alice is not so simple. So need to do that tonight. That way she's got fresh, clean hair and body before we head out. So here's one of the totes like I showed you. I'm gonna start just putting in um, stuff, like I'm just stuff that I'm taking to family. So again, I just use these as like a dumping ground. Be no one's waiting for me. I will climb into you, got like a million ideas. I always take energy drinks with me because I'm insane. These rain boots in case it's super rainy up there or muddy or they want to play out in the woods or whatever. I think I might want to like make some baggies up with some of these snacks. So I might pull these out, but I want them also for like my mom's house. Um, so I want to share them with family. So yeah, let me continue doing something. All right, I've got this 31 toe as well. I'm gonna make up just some grab and go snacks to have where I can keep this like either between like the kids seats in the second row or like in my passenger seat. Um, 
The kids probably won't eat. I usually let them make up their own snacks and put them in a lunchbox so they have them at their seat. But I'm just gonna fill this container with some of the lemon almonds. And then I'll put the big bag back into like my storage one. So like here's some almonds. And these pistachio squares I got at Costco a while ago. I feel like pistachios, they're really good. They're kind of like sweet and salty. Ah! And then I've got those pineapple rings. Let's at least fit a few in here. That way I don't have to have all the big bags up by me. Hopefully that'll Splish them in there. And these containers are just rubber made from like Walmart. All right, we've got some sour raisins, a few granola bars, a few cereal bars, Oreo dippers. So I'll throw a few of those in there. My battery's dying, so I'm gonna have to switch that out. Hold on. Let me just empty this so I can get rid of the box. Yay, snack bucket. Got some old stuff. Um, doing some Doritos. The kids like Doritos. Crunchy Cheetos. Sour cream and onion. White cheddar Cheez Its. Those will probably be for me. Two Power Crunch bars. The uh, red velvet. Those are probably also for me. Lemon fiber bars. So there's a snack basket. If I ever did see one, what else can we put in here? Um, how about some Nature's Bakery fig bars? This will be for, um, let me clarify, the drive there, so nine hours of snacking and food and stuff, and again, I'm gonna probably make a few sandwiches, possibly. Sometimes we stop and just get dollar menu, um, like at McDonald's, but this will also be for snacks like while we're visiting, so I like to have this around, because the kids are always like, I'm hungry, I'm like, just go grab something out of your snack basket, and then also the ride home, so there's that. Do some chocolate. Um, Superhero, oops, can't say superhero cookies. Cookie thins, I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff in at this point, can you tell? Oh, I know what I need, hold on. Road trip is not a road trip without fruit snacks. Now we're done. And then I have packages of stuff that I'm, oh, that's heavy. Hold on, I need both hands. All right, this is a Sim Pot. Yes, I already have an Instant Pot, but this company reached out and I only have a five quart Instant Pot. This is an eight quart Sim Pot. So I'm gonna kinda um, make you stare at the box right now because my arm was going tired. Anyway, I'm gonna do a video on this soon. So that's an eight quart. I wanna do like comparison and see like the difference between the two. And it's bigger. And I'll still use my Instant Pot because that way I can do like rice in one and the something else in another. Anyway, I was excited. I also have something else coming today, but I don't, it's supposed to be here, but it didn't get delivered at the same time as this. All right, I'm gonna make Will's uh, protein shake at the gym, like I said. Okay, um, I'm just gonna add about four ounces of water. Ta-da! The protein powder that's in here is not the MP Combat. However, uh, we like the canister. So what we did was we got a big bag of protein powder from, I think it's myprotein.com. Um, I'll look and see and link it. And this is the strawberry. And we pour it into here instead of like doing it out of a bag. He does love the MP Combat, but not this chocolate milk flavor. He likes the cookies and cream flavor, which you can get at Costco. And then I'm just adding about four or so ounces of unsweetened almond milk as well. And a shake, shake, shaking it up. He says it reminds him of a strawberry milkshake when he gets home. I don't know. Does it also mean I'm getting my steps in because I'm shaking? I don't know. Okay, I'm goofy today. This milk is almost gone as well. Everybody's home. Everybody clap your hands. Anyway, 
Will's home from the gym. He looks exhausted. He just went and got the kids for me. Give me one second and we'll show them the puppy, okay? Or whatever that is. So I'm guessing you're going to shower. Yes. What'd you do? <laughs> okay, anyway, hold on. Let me fix her zipper. So Alice is tired, but she's trying on one of those hoodies that we got. Can you smile? You're much prettier when you smile. And Jackson's is looking nice too. So the girl ones have thumb holes and Will and I were just talking. It's easier to find girls' clothing with thumb holes. Jackson's, same brand. Hi, puppy. Is that a puppy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you make that? Mm -hmm. It's very cute. You're very bashful all of a sudden. <laughs> um, Daddy has one of these in the freezer. We're going to try it in a little bit. It's the new flavors of Dr. Pepper because we finally found it. Alice's little hoodie matches her shorts that I put her in today. Do you like it? Is it comfy? Are you tired? So we've Why been staying up. Because this used to be your toy box of sorts when we used to live at the old apartment in Michigan. I used to throw all your baby toys in there when we cleaned up at the end of the day. You guys want to get a snack? Going through Jack's folder and he's got a huge worksheet of division that he got all right. And he did a little report on tarantulas. I said, oh no, I don't want tarantulas. Um, but look at all this. I'm not going to read it all, but I mean, I will, but I'm not going to make you read it all. He did a very good job. That's a lot of writing for a little dude. And Alice is going to paint her rock pet that she got for her birthday. Jackson it's picked that out for her. It is you a, can see it better right here. Yep. We'll paint it, and then we've got a little, not really a rock bed, but we've got some decorative rocks out at the front yeah. door that we'll put that by. Do you want some help opening it? No? Okay. And you're having a snack. What's up? Your crystal tree is crazy, huh? They did this little crystal tree out of a Discovery Kids like 10 in 1 science lab experiment thing. Um, and it's growing quite a bit. This kid is eating like a grown man. He walks in, look at all of He's always had a four pack of crackers, a pack of breadsticks and cheese. Didn't you have something else? A piece of a candy bar and you're about to eat a, whatever that is. Granola bar. Granola bar. Oh you starving or what, munchkin? Not a munchkin anymore, huh? Lunch. Did you eat lunch, Alice says? Is and it dry or not? Um, I don't know, is it? Did you get all the blue paint off? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So Alice is painting. She's doing a very nice job. I like those colors. I wish They're very bright. Pink. Yeah, these ones are special though. We don't have any pink. Um, hold on, we might is this just acrylics? It says weatherproof paints. So I don't know what that means. Because we are gonna put this outside. Like we have little paint pots and we have acrylics, but I don't know anything about paint and what would be considered weatherproof. This consistency of paint is definitely different. <gasps> shoot, 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 that was mama's fault. Oh, it's okay. That, that happened. Hold on. <laughs> what are we doing, bud? Going to a showcase night. Are you excited? Yeah. I've never been in this classroom. has gone. Try that lemon almond yet? Uh, no. Try it. They're amazing. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Crunch, 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 crunch. Mm. Isn't it good? Okay. So the kids put together their activity basket for the road trip, right? We need a bigger basket. And I actually have something coming. I'm working with a brand on something, but I don't have it yet. So do you want to explain to them what we've got in here? We've got what? Markers? Mm -hmm. Some smelly, some not. Some what? Summer smelly snot. Oh, I thought you said smelly snot. <laughs> <laughs> and Play-Doh. Play-Doh. I do let them play with little bits of Play-Doh in the van. They are very good with it. A bunch of fidget spinners. Crayons. Crayons. Now, what's on this side? Yep, so we've got a lined notebook. This is on the go. Look at me. Look at me. Look at your face. You yeah. look like the Joker, but with chocolate. Go look in the mirror. Um, a lined notebook in case they want to write. A coloring book, Alice's Unicorn one, Jackson's Avengers one, two color blast books, the Melissa and Doug that Alice got for Christmas. It's got 
And then this game, I'm gonna link these below. These IQ puzzlers are so fun um, for adults and kids alike, and it's small and portable enough you can take it wherever you, can you open that for me, buddy? I can't open it with my left hand. Can you open that? I just wanna show them what it looks like. It's just a puzzle game, and it comes with like- Different levels. Yep, you just complete each level. The hardest one is like, at the very back. Yeah, so it's just a puzzle game. It's really cool. It makes it really convenient to hold on his lap. Can you do me a favor? Take the activity bucket and go put it in the van. You know where it goes. Just to tell you guys, I can't stop sneezing. Can't stop I sneezing. Sneeze. You just hiccup too. I no, I burped. Oh. I so throw it away. I sneezed five times today at school. Crazy. Like two times. Are you ready for Michigan tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You saw it here first. And really only ever. The man is, wait, what are you doing? Slicing and dicing. What are you slicing and dicing? A zucchini. A zucchini. <laughs> Will's helping me with dinner. I was stressed and so I said, get out there and dice my zucchini. And then I realized that I'm probably gonna be more stressed because I have to like really break it down. This what? man needs cooking lessons. Yeah, they Instructions were unclear. It said trim and medium dice zucchini. Trimming means something completely different in graphic design. This isn't a computer or graphic design. Words have different meanings. Uh -huh. All your fancy schmancy cooking meanings. It doesn't like, whenever the fridge is behind me, it wants to focus on the refrigerator. There's so, a light refraction coming off. Anyway, of I'm short and he's tall. Um, doing some cooking. How's it going? I think it's going good. Yeah? So it looks like but it's softened? It's very deceiving because no matter what you do to zucchini, it's always gonna taste bad. <laughs> he doesn't like zucchini. So we're making a zucchini pasta, what is it called? Chicken sausage penne with zucchini and chili oil from every plate. So I'm kind of teaching him how to cook. I think I need to get him in here on the weekly and show him or have him help. He always wants That's to. What I've been saying. I know. Is he that always wants funny? to. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just like, no, I can do it so much faster myself. I know I'm not alone in that where people are like, just let me do it. I mean, everybody's like that with something or other. Yeah, I'm like that with anything in my kitchen. Um, so we're doing that. Water coming up to a boil. Play video games with Jack. Yeah. <laughs> just over here, over here, uh, over here. Just let me do it. Give it here. So we're gonna cook a little bit more. Um, there'll be a little bit more to this vlog tonight. Okay, give me a second. Calm down. It it's not going to burn. It it's fine. It might not be soft. I don't know what I'm doing. Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. Banana. Banana split. Mm, it's banana twin pops from mm -hmm. Walmart. That's good. I might actually have one of those after I clean the kitchen. It matches your shirt. Mm -hmm. You excited for Michigan? Yeah. Me too. Not excited for the drive, but we can handle it. We're troopers, huh? Yeah, that's the only way to get there. Or we can just take a plane that takes like an hour. Yeah, a plane is a lot more money though. How long? How long or how much money? How much money am I saying? Oh gosh, I don't know. Probably a few hundred dollars a person. <laughs> which is much better to drive. Mm, I love you. I don't get snuggles with my boy very often. Daddy's giving Sissy a bath. Huh. And we're snuggling. All right, I'm gonna go finish cleaning up downstairs. And then we will bring you along as we Tetris the van full of stuff from Michigan and then probably close it out. Mm. This child.
What's a rolly? A rolly, 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 rolly. Well, you dropped it on its head somewhere. I, I put, it put it in the door. You put it in the door. All right. Tell them good night. Good night. We're going to see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Bright, 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 dark and early. Bright, dark and early. Hop out of the way. Daddy's closing the door. So, Alice asked if I would blow dry her hair while she eats her bedtime apple. It's a very cool this is what I was telling you guys about earlier in today's vlog. Um, the like, it's the Revlon like paddle brush blow dryer. So obviously I'm gonna set this to music cause you don't wanna hear the blow dryer, but since he wants her hair blow dried. So we're gonna do that. And this is linked below. We love it. It works great on our hair. We do have thin hair, but I have friends with thicker hair and they said it works as well, just as well. Are you enjoying your apple? Is it super yummy? I almost ate all of it. Yeah, she, tell them why you wanted to eat an apple. Because I want a loose tooth. She wants a loose tooth. <laughs> All right, let's get this dry. Just for money. Just for money. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers. And bring her one of my t-shirts. So it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you so can't I packed my like, facial cleanser stuff But, ooh, it's hot um, this is the makeup, <laughs> let's look this way, the makeup eraser, and it's just a fabric cloth that, like, gets your makeup off super, super well. I love it for my eye makeup. It takes my eyeliner and stuff off really easy. You can check them out on Instagram. I got this little squirt, like, look at that. I keep trying to show you. I don't know where I'm showing. I don't do, like, mirror. Number one, I can't see because my glasses are off. So I'm hoping I'm even looking in the right direction. Um, number two, I don't do, like, ah, mirror type videos. So I use this to get my eyeliner stuff off. And then, typically, I would have my Lime Life stuff, but I packed it. And it's downstairs. It's not like it's out in the car. Remember, I said, I'm going to keep it close by because I'm going to need that again. Well, I'm basically just too lazy to go downstairs and grab it right now. And I just want my makeup off. So, do that. And, I'm just going to use a cotton round and Thayer's Witch Hazel. I get this from Grow Collaborative. Um, it's the cucumber scent. It smells like the cucumber, Freeman's Cucumber Peel Off Mask that I used to use when I was in like high school. And I just use it to kind of freshen up my face. But Grove Collaborative has all sorts of like facial care stuff. Um, so I got this in my last order, which I can link my last video unboxing. I love it. It smells great. You can get like free stuff if you use the link down below. You can get a free cleaning set from Mrs. Myers. Now my face feels so fresh and so clean, clean, clean. And then I got this um, actually for free in my last Grove haul. It's the Cure Brightening Night Cream. Since my lotion is also packed, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. Allie, can you please quit touching my lamp? That's my big spotlight lamp. I don't want it broke. And this lotion smells like lavender and calendula, which smells amazing. Alice, honey, if I have to ask you again, you're going to sleep outside with the bugs. Yeah. Yeah, I love bugs. Dark. All right. Not and fresh and clean. Put these kids to bed. So she was messing with my box light over there. Then I have my ring light over there. This is basically what it looks like at all times. I have those lamps set up. She's talking in the corner. What? And this, that's where the towel laundry basket goes. Oh, I got a full towels tonight. Um, thank you for me. Yeah. Thank you for you. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along 
finding myself I'm much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them right I wanna stay wide open Ooh, 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 ooh Ooh, 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 ooh I wanna stay wide open Can't stand to hear more today I'm gonna lock my door and stay Inside away until I'm safe again I have nothing more to put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming How people can help Kids are having a sleepover in our room since our alarm's gonna go off at like 3 a.m. to leave for Michigan, huh? They're zoning. Can we tell our friends goodnight? And it just started raining out like crazy. Jackson's eating a ham sandwich because he's constantly hungry lately. <laughs> and my battery's dying for the second time today. Can we tell them goodnight? Rain helps you sleep. All right, you wanna close it out? Okay, close it out. Our battery's dying. Speak a little louder. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that red button, mouth, and bye.